The weaponsmith of legend. Nedrick appears concerned about your equipment. Rude. How fares the adventuring of late? Your gear holding up against the rigors of the trade? Make no mistake, my friend. The quality of your weapon may well prove the difference between life and death. I found that out. If you're serious about such things, there's someone I can introduce you to. Her name is Rowena, and she is a collector of ma all manner of rare artifacts. She just might have something in her stock that to suit your m martial prowess. Rowena used to do business in Ulda, but she has since rel relocated to Revenant's Toll so as to be nearer to the ancient ruins from which she drives her livelihood. Derives. Should you ever have reason to go there, you'd do well to pay her a call. Okay. A friend of Nedrick's, are you? Then you must be an adventurer of some skill. My business relies on capable people such as you. As a gesture of goodwill, I'm going to share with you a morsel of information. There's this bloke named Geralt. <laughs> Makes his living in weapons and armor and whatnot. They say his skill is the finest in all the realm. Might be as it's gone to his head, though. Folks don't take to the man, if you get my meaning. Oh, and he likes a drink and all. Bloody by... Byer got himself in the forge, though. As a young lad, he was cast out on his ear by his master for a crime of crafting finer wares, and that while pissed drunk, he ever since his ro he's roamed here and there, earning his keep day to day. I, I've known Geralt ever since I landed into this business. Ain't seen him for a while, though. And the last time I did, the old fool had tears in his eyes and snot dripping from his nose. Fallen on hard times, he said. Asked for a bit of coin to tide him over. Never paid me back, neither. Couldn't say for sure where he is now. Seemed to remember hearing uh, he was in the Black Shroud, putting up, putting up at Hurst Mill or some such place. You might do well to commission his work. He'll even forge the relics of old to make it worth his while. And there ain't no other in Eorzea as can do that. If it's relics you care about, you care to know about, I've a promise of payment, which what might catch your fancy. If you, it don't look like much, but it'll get old Geralt to fire up his forge. That much I promise. Okay. Got business with me, have you, adventurer? Then there'd better be coin and drink in it. Uh, elsewhere, elsewise, bugger off back to wherever it was you came from. Restoration work on an old weaponry, you say? Ha! What makes you think I'd fire up the old the forge for a grimy old? He gets. Where in the seven hells did you get that promise of payment? I ain't got no coin, I tell ye. Nay, not a single bloody gill. Gods, just look at me. How far I've fallen. Me, the greatest weaponsmith of our age. Hammer in our dents and kettles to pay off a tavern debt. <laughs> Can you even begin to grasp me humiliation? Can ye? Bah, of course you can't. Why did I ever bother a skin? A skin? Uh, <sighs> all right, all right. I'll restore you bloody weapon. Just get that God's damn slip of paper out of me sight. Relic Reborn is now available. I'm good. I want it, but I don't want it. Okay. A relic reborn, Artemis Bow. Geralt has an air of a man defeated. Just let me make one thing clear. It might be as I'm repairing kettles to pay for yesterday's mead, but I still got my pride as a master weaponsmith. You'll get no less than the finest out of my forge. And it might be as you've got that goddamn slip of paper, but it'll only get you so much. Restoring relics like these calls for some rare old materials that I, I ain't got none. So if you want the job done, you'll have to run along and fetch them for me. So what is it you want restored? A bow-bending bard, are you? That's a rare sight in this day and age. Well, I happen to know just the weapon for you. But tell me, have you ever heard the word God's bow? It is an epithet with what's given only to virtuosos of the bow. The first archer to be called such was one Gilbert, a man who lived during Gerdania's fledgling days. Legend goes he slew seven Ixali chieftains with a single arrow. 
And if that weren't impressive enough, they say the lucky side was blessed with the voice of a bleeding angel to boot, on account of which he had a bow specially crafted to be a weapon and instrument both. This tool of musical murder was called the Artemis Bow, and for long years it was locked away in one of the fastnesses of the god's quiver for safekeeping. Alas, some while ago, said fastness was overrun by the Ixel, who struck from above in their war balloons. They gave the place a thorough ransacking and took the relic with them back to Natalan. If you can but retrieve the Artemis Bow, even a part of it, we'd be well on our way to restoring your relic. All right. I think I did do this. Oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I guess we bring it back to him. There we go. That's silly. I won't make you read all that. Well, bugger me. Never in my wildest, drunkest dreams did I <laughs> imagine you'd actually find the bloody thing. Huh. So I'll have to fire up the forge after all. Having said that, the relic's in far worse shape than I thought. I ain't like to survive much pounding in this state. Truth be told, I'd be worried about sneezing near it. <sighs> We're gonna need a new host what'll give itself for the restoration. Bring me a long arms composite bow, one with two great three heaven die material builded to it. This will serve as the vessel for the restored relic. Remember, that's two grade three heaven die materia. Art lesson you'll get not from me, no matter how many slips of paper you wave in my face. You a bitch. So I'm just gonna do that. Okay. Meld. Two of them, right? Yep. Getting too attached. All right. Try not to break them. You can't doing this. A hundred percent. Yes. You Let's fucking it. go. Oh, okay. Here we go. Ah, uh, tis a fine base you brought me. Ah, uh, just the thing to host your relic. I've merged what was left of the relic with the host weapon, so the groundwork's done. But don't go jumping for joy just yet. There's still more to do. I need to work on the finishing touches, but due to the reinforcement work I've had to do, the weapon's proven rather stubborn to shape. To get around this, we'll be needing some alumina salts, a substance made by grinding a rock called alumina into fine grains. Unlucky for you, though, I, it ain't easy to get hold of. Oh, my God. I wonder why this is a pain in the ass. May happy already know this, but there's beasties out there who devour their prey whole, and some of them swallow rocks so as to aid with digestion. Mm. The Dorm Chimera, what terrorizes the central highlands of Corthus, happens to swallow alumina salts for this purpose. Slay the bugger and bring me the alumina salts, and I'll see to the finishing touches on your weapon. The Dorm Chimera can be confronted via the Duty Finder! Oh my, oh my god, that fucking thing. Upon examining the quest destination situated at the Weeping Saint in the Corthus Central Highlands. Please note that the trial relic reborn, the Chimera, must now be completed as a bard. All right, chat. I can queue for it? Okay. Hey, the Chimera is now accessible. Well, that was quick. <gasps> chat, the Chimera. Let's go. Let's go! I'm in the way. Oh shit, not BRB. Well, that kind of works, but that's not what I intended. You big man. This is what I meant, but now we're here. Not insane. Party. Let's go. All right. For 
first run with the gang. Heck yes. I don't remember this fight at all. I just remember it's quick and pretty simple. So. Like, as you can see, he is dying super fast. Not as, uh, Le I'm going to pronounce it wrong. Levistria. Da -da -da. Who is the other bard with me? I cleansed not. Interrupt the ram's voice. Fuck you. I interrupted that bitch so good. Wow, that was super fast. Hey. Oh. <laughs> it's just us! <gasps> thank you, guys! Thank you, thank you for helping me get this done. Just a dozen more Chaos Sentences after the chat. You again? What in the seven hells do you want this time? I have the stuff. And of course, the adventurer comes back triumphant. Uh, should have bloody known not even the Chimera would be able to put you out of my misery. Hand over those Illumina salts and I'll get right to work. He was hoping I was going to die. Yes. There, the deed's done. I've, squeed, I've squeezed out every ounce of me skill to restore your weapon, and I think you'll agree it looks the part. Yet there's some of it missing somehow. No, I'm burgered if I know what. The beast just lacks a certain glow, as it were. We need to learn more about this relic. Literature surrounding the hero associated with it would be a fine place to begin, but I ain't exactly a scholarly, and I haven't the slightest inkling where to get my hands on such stuff. As much as I hate to say this, Rowan is probably the one to talk to. Thing is, I'd sooner shove hot kettles up me arse sideways than owe that thrice damned Herod in another debt. You're gonna have to make yourself useful once again. Take yourself to Rowena and ask her for help, and return here once you've learned some of what might be of use. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. You're looking a bit more run down than before. Your dealings with Geralt taking their toll? Actually, forget I even asked. My mouth tastes a bile if I so much as think of that sorry specimen. So, is there something you need? Literature on the hero of old who once wielded your weapon. Hmm, I reckon I can find what you need. Might take a bit of time is all. Of course, this ain't a charity I'm running here. I can get you what you want, but you'll have to do likewise for me. I'll track down literature on Gilbert, uh, the God's Bow. For your part, you're going to bring me an Omdipur Glyph. Are you going to make me do Omdipur Keep? You'll find this inside Omdipur Keep. Fuck you. A ruined castle situated in the South Shroud. Clear on the deal? Then run along and fulfill your part of it. Need a tank? I would just do this unsynced because we've already done this. Okay. It's not like the story of Omtipur Keep, so I'm not really that concerned. So we can just unsync it, baby, if you want to plow right through it. Oh, you still want me to help? Okay, sure. I don't think I can't. I don't know. Can I unsync it at 80? I don't know. Yeah, it'll go faster with two people. Oh! You got the sweater! And the fucking cursed ass knitted hat. I love it. Yeah, and then I like, did light purple at the top and dark purple at the bottom to like match the gradient. Yeah! 
It's very nice. I wish I like, still had my wings on, but fine. Oh, uh, yeah. Those don't stay, unfortunately. And he's dead! I have to pick up something. No? Do I has uh, it? It's wait. still... Obtain one by completing it. Okay, so because okay. we technically haven't completed it. I hope. Yep. Got it. Nice. Okay, Rowena. I got it. You're welcome. Clear on the deal? Then run along and fulfill your part of it. I already did, bitch. Ah, good lad. This is exactly what I was after. You've honored your part of the bargain, and so I'll do the same. Oh, bow of the gods. Back to pressing me so soon? Judging from that smirk on your face, I take it you've found what you need? Ah, uh, this text is about Gilbert's gods bow, all right. But gods would it have killed the bugger that wrote it to use normal bloody words? It'll take me bleeding moons to get through this lot. Time I could be spending on kettles. Yeah. While I try and make head or tail of it all, why don't you take this here unfinished Artemis bow and try it out? As I mentioned before, it's still missing some of it, but it's all there shape-wise, meaning it should serve you just fine as an ordinary weapon. Seeing as you're a ripe old bard, maybe you'll be able to feel out exactly what it wants for. That's to say, get out there and fight some nasty foes, as Gilbert himself must have done back in the day. Natalan, the exiled stronghold over in Corthus, ought to serve your needs. Nah, the same place you found the bow. Bridge yourself against some Natalan bold wings, fog collars, and wind talons. Eight of each, say. Then come back and tell me what you've gleaned. I swear to God. With the information in the text and your first-hand experience, I reckon we'll solve this puzzle yet. I swear... ...to fuck. One? Oh, I still fucking demolish them. Okay. Yeah, let's take out a bunch. Yeah. All of you. Aggro. There you go. And now you guys. Oh, I don't want to be in a fate. I just want these guys. Thank you. Come here, buddy. Hey, Can we talk about your message? What? <laughs> Have a lover day. Hmm. I think it was supposed to be lovely day. That's so fucking fun. I was like, did Quinn message you? Oops. Hell yeah. Is that, is that from Firefly? Somehow I don't think that's all a typo. The, That'd be even funnier. All the Jane stuff and the uh, man wearing a hat like that stuff. Yeah, that's all Firefly. Awesome. It's been a long time since I watched it. I still have it all. LOL, oop, a lovely day. <laughs> Quit. There's one over here. Oh, there's a few over here. Hello. And you. And you. Still got a handful left. That's fine. Okay. Ah, three, four, five, five more. I guess we the these two were the least common. Oh, he got upsetty. Oops. In my opinion. Oh, two over here. 
Let's go get them. Oh, there's three? One more. All right. There we go. Back to fucking Geralt. Back already? By the frown you're wearing, I take it you've got nothing to show for your time with the bird, man. Huh. Might be as you want for better sport. And I know just the creature will give it to you. The Hydra would range over the fiends within Halatali. A nasty piece of work, that. Try not to piss your britches when you see it. I'm gonna fucking kick Geralt's ass. Hydra can be confronted via the duty finder upon examining the quest destination situated by the entrance of Palatali in Eastern Thanalan. Please note that a trial relic reborn, the Hydra oh. must be completed while equipped with the unfinished Artemis bow. So it's not even just do Halatali. Just that thing. It's a specific thing that, once again, I won't be able to help you with. Oh, this is like the... Because I haven't. Oh! It's its own trial. Chat, who has this and wants to do it? Let's do it. Hell yeah. I thought I was going to have to go through Halatali itself all over again. I was like, fucking... Not again. There we go. Got it. I'm like, fuck. Let's go into the cutscene. Oh shit, yeah, my portrait's fucked up because of the... Thing. The Hydra! Alright. That's not what I meant. I don't remember how this goes either. Let's attack till dead. Do we want to attack that? Oh, it's like just as chunky. No, it's not. What? Did they need to be separate or something? Also should be noted that if you get the killing blow, Odin will be you next. Uh, yeah, at its next defeat, that's true. If you get the killing blow, Odin's name is your name or something? Which is fun. We did it! Right. I've put a picture of it in the 14 spoilers channel. Oh, thank you, baby. The, it's basically just his sword holding up a cape on the left side and like the fallen armor. Oh, on, like, okay. A little plinth. Gotcha. Ooh, I really if like that, that outfit sense. that someone's wearing. Fatty, uh, skimpy, and strappy. Apparently glows at night. Oh, I can give a calm. Let's go. <sighs> What's your next thing? You're, you're still alive. Why the hells do you adventurers have to be so goddamn sturdy? I was bloody sure you'd be hydra dung by now. But what's done is done, or in this case, not done. Any road, let's talk about that text you brought. It contains the complete works of Gilbert the Godsbow, the great archer bard. Pouring over the tome, I couldn't help but wince at the man's prudish bloody rhymes. There weren't a body ballad among them. But personal preferences aside, I was able to track down the information we're after. The final pages contain what appears to be the Godsbow's commentary regarding the finer points of performance. The man wrote that the weather, heat, humidity, and what have you greatly affects an instrument's timber. And the same's true for bows. 
They're more or less flexible, see? Which can be the difference between an arrow in your enemy's eye and one stuck in the ground half a yarn in front of him. For this reason, Gilbert had tuning pins installed on his weapon cum instrument. This much was written in the text. Weapon cum instrument? Truth be told, I thought the bloody things were just elaborate rigging for the strings. Who'd have thought you could learn something useful from a book of verse, huh? As you can see, I've done my research. I trust you've also been pulling your weight, putting the relic to use like I said. Well, go on then. Tell me what you've learned. I don't know. Is that so? I'd wondered about that. Based on what we've gleaned from the text and your first-hand experience, I'll rework the relic so as to improve your affinity with it. Hand it over for a second, will you? Sure. So I probably have to... Unequivia. Yeah. Okay. Based on... It was the same thing. I know. <laughs> there. The deed's done. That leaves us with one last step. That is, fully merging the old relic, the new host, and the soul of the bearer. Ah, that's you. Only then can the weapon be restored to its former glory. But to do this, I need a fire what's hotter than the seventh hell. And to keep such a fire alive and raging, I need a wind what's fiercer than the, than the uh, hangover I had last week. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> Just get me a white hot ember, a howling gale, and a chunk of hyperfused ore, and I'll finish your bloody weapon. Oh, and I need me a bottle of rats at hand quenching oil as well to cool it off. A white hot ember, the howling gale, and the chunk of hyperfused ore can be obtained by defeating Ifrit in the Bull of Embers hard, Garuda in the Howling Eye hard, and Titan in the Navel hard, respectively. The bottle of rats at hand quenching oil can be obtained by exchanging 15 elegant tombstones of poetics with Ariana, one of Rowena's assistants at Revenant's Toll. Only 15. Okay. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> I got a calm. Okay Oops! There. Tanks. No calm. Red Mage, calm. This yeah. Is, yeah, this is what I've been telling you. I, I guess when I realized that you were... Uh, not using that bow, I could have come as machinist and we could have just done it real fast. Yeah, it's fine. It still was fast. What is this? Yeah. Oh. If it's claws. Alright. Did that one. This is just like tedium. Yep. Did it. <laughs> and the third one. All right. Ba da da, ba da da, ba da da, ba ba. All right. And now I have to buy something. Oh, come to pester me again. Oh, this is... Okay, this is new. My bad. All right, then. Let's see. The White Hot Ember, the Highland Gale, and the Hyperfused Ore. Oh. It, like, automatically brought me to the next one. I didn't realize it. Uh, these ought to get me the levels of heat I need, which leaves just the rights at hand quenching all for cooling things off afterwards. You've got that, too, I assume. Okay, I did not. No. Bye. Okay, weird. That was weird. Why would you assume I have it? Fucker. Oh. Special arms. I just need one? Yep. Huh. Oh my god, this is finishing it? Well. Well, like finishing this quest, which we have been well. in this whole time. Well... I don't like your well. Well. It makes me nervous. Well. Uh, oh, this is the same thing. Okay. Let's go. 
You've done your part, and so I'll do mine. Watch now and try not to bat your eyelids, and every day you get to see a relic reborn. <laughs> oh, Jesus, okay. <laughs> These God's given hands have worked yet another miracle. Feast your eyes on the Artemis bow, just as it was in the days of yore. Tis a sight to move a man to tears, you lucky bastard. You'd better bloody well take care of it. All right. Ba, 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 ba. We did it! Hard to miss. All right. Congratulations. 